Now joined on the sports mix by the head coach of the Martinsburg Bulldogs, Dave Walker. Coach Walker, last week, big win on the road against Huntington, 49-26. What you like from your Bulldogs? I, I thought that they came out and just really uh, – Played hard. They were they were very motivated. Uh, had a great week of practice and just finished the week out really strong. How special of a year has it been for you? First year coming back from Concord, undefeated season so far, so good. Hopefully, getting that one more on Saturday for the tenth state championship. Well, I mean, it's it's been a blessing to be back. Just um, just being back in Martinsburg, regardless of the season. Uh, and that's that's been just. Um, you know, like icing on the cake. So uh, I've, I've been just, I've just been blessed and, uh, and and very happy to be back and and uh, leading these guys and, and trying to get them back to, to where we where we want to be. Last week in that win, big game on the ground defensively, two pick sixes for you guys as well. Just talk about, I guess, the cohesiveness as a whole to get that team victory. Well, I think it started up front just, you know, T and T, like dynamite. There's guys up front, they were just, um, you know, just coming off the ball and um, just very explosive. Uh, you know, and I think Xerxes' uh, big play really kind of kind of set the tone and, and, and changed things and just, you know, sparked us. I agree. I still can't find a defensive lineman that has three touchdowns in a year. I don't know about you, but uh, switching over to that offensive side, the holes and the offensive line to allow big games for Murphy as well as Nick and then Coy Fagan with the two touchdowns as well. Well, yeah, and it started up front. Those guys played really well up front and allowed us to be able to push them around, uh, allowed those guys to run the ball well and just get some things done on the ground. And, you know, that, you know that's, it's hard to beat a team that can do that to you. This week you guys get to go to the island, everybody's end goal. It's against Princeton, a team that has never been there before but they're looking to knock you guys off. What have you seen from them on the film? Well, I mean, they're they're very explosive. They're like a live wire. I mean, they just they can ignite any time. And uh, you know, the Collins kids is very uh, dynamic, and their their young quarterback really throws the ball well. And so they're very balanced, and um, they're a really good football team. So it should make for a, a very challenging day for us. The run defense has been the big part of this defense. It seems like this year. How do you make sure that it seems like? if Princeton is this air attack team that you guys are ready to go to try to match that and be able to cover those? Well, I mean, they do have a 1,000-yard rusher as well, so uh, we can't completely just, you know, ignore the run. Uh, you know, those guys, uh, they're well balanced, uh, you know, they but they've got a lot of big play potential through the air. So I think it's just important for us to play solid on, you know, be balanced. And I think up front, uh, the, the, the better we can play up front, I think our chances are, are better. How's practice look this week and gearing up for the game on Saturday? Well, it's a beautiful day today. Yesterday, the last two days was really cold. Uh, I thought we had a you know just kind of an average practice yesterday. So I'm, I'm hoping that we have a really better practice today. Games at noon on Saturday, so daytime with the sun being straight up into the sky. How much does last week's game being that 1:30 kickoff benefit? I mean, I think maybe the schedule, you know, getting you know getting used to playing the middle of the day. But as far as the sunlight, I don't know if it'll affect that much. I mean, we we practice every day in the daylight, so I don't I don't think that'll be that big of a factor. I think the big thing is just, you know, it's going to be a little earlier, so they've got to get up sooner, and we've got to get them moving around a little sooner. How special would it be to first year back have that tenth state championship underneath your belt if you guys get the win Saturday? And second part of the question: What do you guys need to do to get that tenth? Well, I mean, obviously it would be an amazing thing, and I would really just be happy for these these guys. Um, um, what do we got to do to get there? I mean, I think we have to control the line of scrimmage, uh, try to eliminate uh, or, or minimize their big plays, and then, you know, offensively we've got to be able to get the ball in the end zone. All right, Coach, appreciate the time. Wish we could join you guys up there, but best of luck on Saturday. I know everybody down here at Martinsburg will be cheering you guys on. Thank you. Appreciate everything as well this entire season. No, no special question of the of the day. No, not that I can think of, unless you have anything. I mean, we were asking a few other coaches gearing up for basketball season. Um, just during their free time when it's non-football season, what do you like to do? I, I like I like to play play music and um, you know, uh, just try to do some things to relax. But I'm I'm a kind of a music fan, so uh, I'll probably mess around with that a little bit in the winter. Any upcoming uh, concerts or anything at any bars? <laughs> I don't have anything planned oh, no. yet, but uh, when I do, I'll let you know. Sounds good. Appreciate it, Coach. Thank you, guys. Appreciate Thank you. It.